it does is it gives you our entry, right? So it's saying, hey, enter here. So we don't know if that has passed or not until we look at the market, which in this case, you can see we pretty much have the money, actually. So it can be a live tip for somebody in here. But uh, it tells you where to get in. This is your entry right there, right? And it, uh, so it gives you three points to collect a bag. My, my non-millennials in here has three points to get some money, right? <laughs> One, two, and three. You got three points where you can take your profit. Does that make sense? So no, I, don't, I didn't use the harmonic scan. I didn't use the harmonic scan, but you did. So we're saying that the market, the scanner, is actually saying that the market, if you follow the screen, is actually saying the market is going to go down here. If you can use your imagination, it's saying that the candlestick is going to go here, and we're going to make money. For everybody who's new, this is literally worth ten thousand dollars, but it's included for the two hundred because it's literally telling you when to enter. This does 90% of the work, and all you have to do is bring 10% of your brain because you gotta be able to enter where it says enter. That's the 10% of your brain right here. So it says enter what number? That number. So you'll enter that into your phone, and then it'll come down to here. What does TP stand for? Take profit. And you'll take your, pro your profit here, and if you're bold, you'll stay in. Right, stay in means you're not, you haven't, you know, taking out your money, you keep it in for this money. Now you take profit again and you doubled up your money or you could have been satisfied here. Does that make sense? Yes. And satisfied here. Or if you're trying to match your monthly income in a day, we're gonna stay in this trade and ride it all the way down to here. <laughs> Who would like to make their monthly income in a day? Me. <laughs> That's a great question. So you can use that to cross-reference. I know plenty of people do, personally, because it's this simple. So now when you talk about setting take profits, you're not setting anything margin this, because again, we're scalping. So we're not setting take profits. We're not setting stop losses, because I'm watching it. So I don't need to set this in. Just in case something happens, I'm set, all right? It hit my take profit, I made money, or it hit my stop loss and took me out. I don't need to do that, because I'm watching it. And if I'm not watching it, I'm not I'm not, not watching it for long, right? I'm gonna stop to, you know, forgive me, but I'm gonna take a leak real quick, I'm gonna grab a bite, hit something in the food, whatever, but I'm gonna be looking at this, right? So on my setup at home, I've got a few monitors, even though you don't need that, guys, because something like this, all you need is your phone. All you need is your phone, right? So I've got a few monitors, because now I'm getting comfortable with my skin. So I got video games going on one, I got a YouTube video going on one, I got a chart going on another one, I'm just in the zone, right? So that being said, this is this simple, so I don't even want to drag this out 30 minutes. Where the lines cross, you do a market execution for that direction. So if you would have sold here, boom, you would have collect this. Now if you want to if you want to practice really good <coughs> risk management, and you're gonna be sacrificing your some of your profits for this, right? Not necessarily some of your money, but you're gonna be sacrificing your profits. Right? So the money that you've made, you're gonna lose some of that. Okay? But this is the best risk management. You would enter where the line crosses, and you would exit where the line crosses. Okay? So in this case, this would pretty much suck, because, I mean, this is a little bit lower than this, but you probably didn't make any money. You probably broke you, right? So you sold right here, and you would stay. That's why I like to get out when it starts to go the opposite direction. I don't have to sacrifice this much profit. So I get in. When it starts going this way, I'm out. Give me this. But you would get out. When it crosses, you would get out. In this case it wouldn't have worked out that well, right? As a matter of fact, in this case, it was kind of ugly too. Because you would have bought, and it had all this, and then you would have came back, and you would have got this distance to here, which would have been, who knows, right? It's a little bit, but not much. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I like to ride this, and when I see this going this way, then I get out. Okay, what you got? Um, is your profit determined based on like, how much you put into the trade? Yes, that's exactly right. Because again, this right here, Somebody, that's somebody's mortgage. Somebody, that's somebody, that's just gas. Right. You know? So it depends on how you enter. Did you enter just 10 cents? Right. Did you enter with 20 cents? Did you enter with 50 cents? A dollar? 10 dollars? What time frame are <laughs> right. you on? What time frame are you on doing this? 
This is a day. Oh, it doesn't matter, but this this happens to be a day, but it doesn't matter. Who asked that? I'm sorry. I did. Like, hey, what's going on? Hello. Um, it doesn't matter. You can use this on any time frame because the indicators are the indicators. So if you're going to do something like this on a day, that means that every one of these candlesticks takes a day to form. You can imagine you're going to be in the trade for a while, right? Right. <laughs> so if you enter this on a day and you sold there, you might as well just, just hang out. You're not really watching this forever. You're just kind of watching this every day, though. Like, hey, let me make sure we're still grooving. Okay, <laughs> cool. And you can do that. But if you're down on a small time frame, you're going to be watching. So I like to do this anywhere from the three minute to the one hour. Like, I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm watching this stuff. But if I'm going to be mobile, then I'm going to be looking at the one hour, four hour, and I might be somewhere where I'm swinging. Swing so, trade. I'm going to hang out for a couple days. So I know, like, okay, so if you're looking at the daily, and mm -hmm. you see that, you know, the, the four is about to cross the 50, do you go down to a lower time frame, like the 15 minute, to... I don't know, confirm. That's great. All right, so let's dive into that. That's that's great. Uh, all right, so let's let's rock. What we're gonna have to do for that is find we're gonna have to find the same zone so that when we jump to different time frames, you know we're looking at the same thing. So let's uh, let's back up if you don't mind, and just so we can make sure we catch this thing because I like the way this looks. That's very beautiful. Let's go here and find a vertical line. So yeah, click the click the arrow next. To you. Yeah, click that. Yep, and find a vertical line that one. And just drop it here. So when we change the time frame, we make sure we catch the same area. All right, cool. So let's say we're looking at the day. So me first. Oh, let's go on the day. We're on a 15 minute. Man, I was hoping that was the day. So I'm not going to look this one. That's cool. We'll use, we'll use this one. So uh, right click and clear all tools. Clear all drawing tools. Make sure you do drawing and not the uh, remove all drawing tools. All right. Let's drop a line. I like this one. Let's drop a line here. So we'll catch that cross. Where? Right here is cool. I just want to be able to identify th that cross right there. So that's good. All right, so we're on the day chart. Um, personally, when I look at the day chart, I'm probably marking. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eyeball to see how, if we were catching this live, let's say all this didn't happen yet, I want to see how long this gap is. Determine I'm, if I'm still getting in this game or not. Does that make sense? Follow me, because if this mouth is really big, right? If I see all this, then I'm expecting it to keep eating, right? Right. right, 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 right. So I'm gonna look at, I'm just gonna glance and say, okay, it's, it's got a little mouth on there. And then when we talk about going to a small time frame, so do me a favor, bring this over here, and then we'll go to a, let's go to a small time frame now. Let's go to, uh, let's go to four hour. Let's see what that thing looks like on a four hour. So what's gonna happen is we know that that one candlestick now is gonna break up into a few. Right, because now we're on a small time frame. So where's that line we put? <laughs> they might have took it away because sometimes when you jump time frames, it kills it. I imagine it would have been around here. So it might have took our line off. All right, let's try this. Go back to date. We'll mark it by time. We'll mark it by time. It might have took our line off. So September 7th, can hover the hover this over there and see if it oh it doesn't give us time. <coughs> right, we're just gonna use that. So let's go back to uh, the four hour. We're gonna have to try to catch a zone. So let's hover the mouse. Over here-ish. Oh man, what day was that again? It was, a, was it first? Go back real quick. Let's look at it. I'm sorry. You can put a support resistance line on there. This is also another reason why it's good to have, or can help to have multiple monitors, by the way. Because you have the day right here and the four. So instead of clicking back and forth, you just go like this. Does that make sense? So again, you don't need to have it. It just makes things a little more efficient. Because again, just your phone alone can get you paid. But um, I want to see that breakdown between the two. So we are, are we on, let's go on a day and let's, let's see if we can just catch that line real quick. What, we, what time is it, guys? Am I having on time? 8.12. Cool. All right, so it says September 1st. All right, let's go back to four hours. September 1st. And then, uh, does everybody see how we're navigating back and forth from four hours to a day? Yeah. yeah. This is very important that you have questions to ask. What questions do so we can find September 1st? And I think it's going to be around that cross right here. Just joking. Yeah? No. So around, around this area here. We ran a different year. This is the 2018. On the day one is the 2017. Okay, so that means it probably, it probably is here, then we just need to. we got to find it. So let's zoom out and redraw. Zoom out and, yeah, zoom out and. Oh. 
stuff like that is best. You know, let's try this. Let's just go live. Let's see where it is live. Let's see where our mouth looks like live. And just go all the way to the right. Let's see what it looks like in real time. That'd probably be the best way. Hopefully we have a nice gap difference in the day and four hour. We can see. Uh, yep, we're gonna use that. So we're gonna we're gonna four hour. Let's see what it looks like on a day. So yeah, I go from I go from the largest time frame to the smallest time frame, and then after that, I'm just kind of I'm working like a ray back and forth. But I don't, I'm not gonna go back up to a day again, by the way. So once I look at the day, I come back down. The highest I'll probably go is maybe the four hour, and that's just a glance. I'm not trading off of it. I just like to see how big this mouth is. All right, cool. So on the day, wow, this just crossed. So this is somewhere, if you were trading on the daytime frame, you'd buy here. So that might as well be a signal for you, by the way. If, you, if, you're, if you're, you're, um, your broker account can hang, uh, handle swings, that's a good time to buy right now. Market is usually that cross, right? So we see this cross, you say, oh man, look how it looks. On a smaller time frame, I would imagine that it probably didn't cross yet because it just crossed on the day. Does that make sense? So let's let's see what that looks like. Let's look at a four hour. So we're looking at live, right? As a matter of fact, no, we we have a oh. So on the day, let me go over here real quick. On that day, that day could be picking up even as far as all of this, by the way, right? But on a four hour, because it's broken down, we're only seeing this tip. But all that's really relevant. I'm just looking at the end. Looking at this, this is a further. This is going to give me further confirmation to buy, right? Because again, look how big my mouth is, and then on top of that, I got this dip. And I'm telling you, these dips right here, I didn't say much about it, but these dips, when it comes towards price and decides to go away, it's like, give me some more, right? But the, when it gets really close and doesn't crack, and get, it really gives it to you good. Yeah, like right there, it gets close. It even crosses, but it doesn't commit. It's just going to give you so much more, which is exactly what happened right there. All right? So I start on a large. I go on a small time frame. So for me who's watching it, I'm going to go as low as, again, five minutes. But for someone who's, who doesn't plan on watching it, this is you can probably stop at four hours. If you're going to swing trade, you can probably down to the one hour. Let's go down to the one hour and see what it looks like. We got a huge amount. Oh, look. See how long it's been going, guys? Right? So I would enter off the four hour to see how big this mouth goes. I might be watching it on the one hour, but I plan on staying in this trade for more than a day, which means I'm not watching it every second. Does that make sense? Where would your entries go at if you wanted to get in like? As close to the cross uh, as possible. Okay. Yeah, so what your entry would have been, your first entry would have been around the cross. That's that's when you, you made it. The reason why is it's just been rising since then. You could do something like have a trailing stop loss behind you at that point. That's a whole other conversation. but. When you cross like that and you enter and you catch at the cross, now you just you just ride it. You don't get out again until it crosses again. What if you can't get in right now? <clears throat> well then now now you're just looking to see does it still is it still not is it too late? Because when you're investing, you might miss your boats. So, okay, it's seven trillion dollars a day. Mm -hmm. So if you miss this one, go see if you got this mouth on another pair. Mm -hmm. You know, or look at another time frame and see if the mouth is there. Because this could be so long, you're like, oh man, it's too late. And then we go to the day and we say Man, that mouth just opened over there. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you have to decide whether it's too late or not. But that's the 90% of trading, right? That's that's the you. Meaning you're going to risk it and you behave yourself because the 10% side is done. Is there a mouth? Enter or not. The 90% is whether or not you actually want to do it. Oh, my gosh, should I do it? Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh God. That's, that's your internal battle. That's the, that's the mental side. But that's a very good question. But you guys see that? It's really simple. The 4 crosses the 50. The direction that it's going, that's the that's the direction you want to enter a trade. This is not something that you set and forget. You're gonna set this trade and you're gonna be watching it. You don't have to be watching like, oh my God, it's moving. It doesn't have to be like that. You just want to be aware, right? You're not gonna set this and just go live life. No, you're gonna set this and you're gonna be aware. So you're gonna live your life. Maybe you have an alarm in your phone that says check trade every 20 minutes. So when it goes off, you just look at your phone. Oh, that's good, and you keep living life, right? Do you use um, that app called Call Levels? No. Oh, okay. I, I think it's a, this app where you can, if it hits a certain number, it'll let you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can do that with here. I mean, I don't use it, but uh, that's what this is right here, by the way. That little clock, 
If you hover over it, don't click it, but hover. See how it says alerts? And you can set an alert that, you know, right? If price gets to 152, let me know. Send an email, text, whatever. Uh, I don't know if the, the free one you can use that or not. But either way, it has that. But there's ways to do that with, with like, even MT4 and stuff. So there's different ways that you can alert yourself. Plus, you know, as we talked about, they have different tools even without our platform that alerts you, sends you alerts to your phone like, hey, you know, go get it back, go get this money. So that's the, that's the moving averages, guys. Does anybody have any questions on the moving averages? The questions that you guys have were really, really great. Any questions on that? Moving averages. How to set them, how to look at them. Right? You could dissect this so much more as far as, you know, why they work the way they do and exactly what's happening. You can. But what's really powerful about about trading, or actually in most things, or a lot of things in the world, you don't need to know everything to make money. I'm not saying that you shouldn't seek learning everything, right? Just know you don't need to know it all to make money. All right, you just have to be to pull out. Oh, you just have to be willing to leverage. What do you got for us? You about to show on this thing? Is a Apple TV? Is that what you sharing on? Is that too much on? Yeah, yeah, but is it how you how are you sharing your phone? The Apple TV? Yeah. Yeah, you fancy, bro. So. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it work. Yeah, what well, you got? You got the oh, so you yeah, got a live trade. Right oh, you now. got you got our strategy on here. Yeah, you um, got crypto. I'm in a live trade right now, down thirty bucks. I check this if I can. Yeah, I want to comment on this real quick. Yeah. yeah, if I can, this is really awesome. So this is what a trade window looks like. So he just said he's in a trade right now. He said he's down thirty dollars. This is negative twenty-seven dollars right now. He's losing, and they see it moving because it's active, right? So I'm really grateful for him to share this with us because this is part of again. I say ninety percent. So trading is ninety percent mental. In that that ninety percent mental, you know, you're in there, right? So trading is ninety percent your decision making, mental, just mastering emotion. So when you look at your 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 phone. One minute it said you were at negative 28, and you look at it again, it says negative 35. You have to be emotionally balanced and say, okay, you have a plan. Like, oh, I expect this to swing, or you have to understand when, okay, this is too negative. I need to get out. Either way, to not be losing your mind when you see that. Right? I was talking to somebody today in Trinidad who's learning how to trade, and he just started his account. He said, I got $20 in there, but you know, I blew an account before, and I got $20 in there. He's so worried. He's like, you're so worried about this 20 bucks, you probably shouldn't even be trading at all. Right, because you only want to put money in you're willing to lose. So if you put this 20 bucks in, it's like, oh my God, oh my God, bro, this is this is not for you. I'm not going to teach you how to gamble that 20 bucks, right? Granted, I can tell you how to take 10 cents of that and we can flip it, but we're not going to gamble. So, so that being said, you really want to come to this with your emotions involved. Like you, you know, you, you have a plan. So you're not entering the trade to see what happens, right? right. It's like I'm going to enter this trade because I expect it to go up. When it goes up to a certain point, I'm getting out. So we're in a sale right now. Right? So yeah, we're in a sale. I saw that he's in this. Uh, and you guys see, the reason why he's moving so fast is because he's in at a certain lot size. In this particular trade, he's in at a, uh, a dollar lot size. He's so notice it, notice it went from 35 down to 25. Y'all see that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's because of what's happening in the charts. Because mm -hmm. so he's going down. See what price is right now? So if it's going up, that means I should be losing money, right? Right. Let's see right. what's happening. I lost money. Who's catching that? Yeah. All right. So if it's going down, I'm making money. If it turns blue, I'm losing. As far as candles, as far as candles, who sees the red candle? So if the next candle is red, does that mean I'm winning or losing? The next candle is blue. That means I'm what? Losing. Let's see what happens. It just it just hit what? That means I should be making anywhere from 30 to 28. Y'all see it? Is? That's simple. So I'm not tripping to say what he's saying in, in real terms as you can see it now. I'm not tripping that I just went from 30 to 29, and I'm not mad that I just went from 28 to 29. Because my goal is I'm willing to risk $100 I'm willing, to, I'm willing to let it go a negative 100 in order for me to make $500. Does this make sense? So if it goes more than 
negative 100, I'm getting out the trade because that's all I was willing to risk was $100 to make how much? All right, so you got to know what you're risking and what your goal is because if you don't have a daily goal, then you'll just be trading all day. Does that make sense? So once I make $500 today, I'm out. That's my goal. That's so important. Yeah. Whoa. I like what he said. If you don't have a goal, you be trading all day. That's so, and that can go both ways. Like, right. if you're losing money, you don't know when to stop. And if you're making money, when we stop. That's cool. Right? Cool, mm. You made $1,000. You're like, man, this is great. I'm still going. I make 1100 I'm still going. Boom. Lose 1500 oh, Damn, man. I need to get out of Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you do. See what happens, though? <laughs> but he's, he's actually, like I say, he's really high. So normally you probably want to yeah. see the numbers jump like that. He's in, he's in the street. So high explain speed. that real quick. You asked, right? Yeah, that's exactly what he was asking. Yeah, this is basically saying he's in a dollar. See, at, in, in, on this street, right? Let's see, this street, this is 10 cents, right? On Wall Street, that's a dollar. So what that means is as this bad boy is moving, is he's gaining a dollar or taking a dollar? Simple terms, right? So he's in a dollar. 0 0.01 is 10 cents. That's a, that's very low. So something like this might be, you know, five dollars and forty one cents. Yeah, I'm supposed to be in at ten cents right now. Cause my so this answers the question of somebody saying, well, how much money do I put in on a trade? Well, I only have how much in my balance? Three hundred forty. So I only put three hundred and forty dollars to start with. So me trading at a dollar a pip is risky. I would come in this trade at 10 cents, if I was smart. <laughs> just because my lot, just because my bank balance. So if I only have $300, I want to have 10 cents, I want to have 10 cents going instead of losing a dollar. Because I'd I rather have, ten, how many times can I lose 10 cents out of $300? A lot, right? So I can literally just keep 10 cents in there until it goes blue. Because it it, there's no way I'm going to lose $300 when it's $0.10. Cents. There's no way the trend is just going to go that much down. Does that make sense? It's not just going to do that. So that's why taking your IML Academy is so key when you're talking about lot sizes. Right there, there are lot sizes and risk management. Those are, things, those are the videos you want to look at. Lot sizes. Hey. Okay. Question: What is that 1.13683? What is that? Order. So, so, so that is a sell limit. That means when you see, let's so, so if you was looking on your phone, who has this app on their phone? Bring it out as if you're doing it with me on the screen. All right. So I will literally push the button, Euro USD. Point at it real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know where my laser at. Matter of fact, I might have it over right here somewhere. No, I think it's over here. It's right here. I've got a little laser or something. Mm -hmm. oh, Is it on there? No. Squeezy. <coughs> That's going down there, bro. Bitcoin is going down. <coughs> I'm not scared. That thing's going down. Alright, but alright, so I'm literally going to hold the sell limit where it says sell limit, right y'all? Y'all with me? Alright, so I push that. If I just push it, that's what comes up. But if I hold it, this is what comes up. Alright? Now, I'm going to go to modify. Modify means, let me edit something. So that's what you're looking at. When you see, when you ask me the question, what is sell limit, what's that number? Someone sent me a signal. Is everybody with me? Someone said, hey, this is going to happen. And all I had to do was enter in. And we say copy, paste, and profit. That's what you're, that's what you're copying. Show them the price. Put your hand on the price real quick, bro. You'll copy that number. Someone sent me that number. They said enter in at that price. Then they say, you know what? We need to set a stop loss. Because just in case it doesn't do what I'm saying, we want to get kicked out of the trade at that number. So we literally copy and paste. Who can copy and paste in this room? Just about show of hands. 
Yeah. Who's ever did that before in school <coughs> and like passed some tests? <laughs> All right, so th this is exactly what we're talking about when you just got to bring 10% of your brain to the table because you literally got to enter in those numbers in the right spot. So if you enter in those numbers in the wrong spot, you're not copying at the highest level. Does that make sense? <laughs> so when I get an A and you get an F, and you're like, well, I copied you, you really didn't. Does that make sense? <laughs> you put it in the take profit when it's supposed to be in the stop loss. So we go back to the trade and we look at it. What does that mean? That means when it hits that price, I'm in the trade. I don't have to look at it anymore. So we set it and we forget. So it hasn't hit that price yet, so I'm not in it. Actually, I've been waiting on that to hit this price about two weeks. So I set that two weeks ago. So I might be randomly on Stone Mountain working out and I enter the trade from two weeks ago. So that's, that's also the power of just knowing what you're doing. You can set it up, mark up your charts, go on about your life. And next thing you know, when you remember, check it. Now you're up $500. <laughs> right. Yeah. So this is how you go in two trades. You see where it says quotes? Everybody see that? If you see it, say I. I. Right. So we click quotes. These are all the pairs we can choose from. This is why Forex cryptocurrency is the best thing in the world because literally you can get paid any day, any time of the day, multiple ways. So which pair do y'all want to look at? GJ. What do y'all see that at? GJ. Right. Boom. And it even tells you because you don't have to be smart. You're like, what is GJ? Just click it. What does it say? <laughs> right, you don't have to master all this stuff. All right, so it says Great Britain versus the Japanese Yen. Who can read? Say I. I. All right, so, so you don't even have to be smart if you can read. Right. So we want, if we want to get in that trade, what do you think we got to do? Hit Drake. Hit Drake. If we want to see what it's doing, what do you want to, what do you think we should hit? Chart. Chart. If you're confident, say it. <laughs> right? So we hit chart. And now we're what what does it say at the top left? That's how you that's the first thing you want to look at and make sure that it's the right pair that we click. So do y'all see the right pair at the top? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. We're in the right pair, we're in the right market. What trend do you see that is happening off top? Up. Going up. Even if you don't know anything, we can at least know it's going up. Can we agree? Agree. Because it just looks like it was. And stairs going up. Mm -hmm. So we already know it's in the uptrend. If you do your academy, it will tell you the right verbiage. A trader would call that a what? What type Bull. of trade is this? Bull. Bullish market. Yeah. Bull. Bull. Some people pay $30,000 and go to college to learn that word bull. <laughs> Seriously, they go to college to learn this, pay 30 grand, they graduate, that's all they remember. Was only an uptrend as a bull. Seriously, because when you graduate college, the teacher's not going to invite you to their house and make sure you get it. Does that make sense? So that's the benefit of, of partnering with an organization like this, because you got constant support in learning this. So, uh, so if we want to get out of this pair and look at another pair, what will we do? What else? What do we want to look at? What is this? A, what is Gold. This X A U. What is that? Gold. Boom. If you don't know, now you know. Gold versus the U.S. dollar. So, what do you want to do with the gold? What y'all want to do? Check the chart. You want to check it out? Yeah. You should just trade it first, row, right? Nah, you gotta check it out. <laughs> What is it doing? What's gold doing? Mm. Looking the confused. Market, you already said the market's moved what? What side? Sideways. Okay. Sideways. Okay. Or they want to go up and down. That means it's action. If it's going sideways, it's pretty boring. You know, it's like a, it's like it's a commercial. <laughs> we we want to get back to the movie. So so it's consolidating. That's the same thing. If I was to look at my money. 
That's the same thing as it going from thirty nine to forty dollars. Mm. Forty one back to forty. Thirty nine to forty one. That's what you're looking at. When the number's not going up or down. See see we're looking at the money, right? If you if you see the money, somebody say money. Money. So now if we look at the chart, that's what it looks like. Mm. So I don't even have to look at my money to know it's just going up and down because I'm looking at the chart. And the chart is going what? Sideways. So I don't have to look at my money. I'm looking at the chart. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So pretty soon, you'll be able to look at the chart and know exactly, if you know your lot sizes, you'll know exactly how much money you're winning for earning. This is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. Who's, pay, who, who's uh, got paid using one of our products in the room? What, what was what was the product you used and how, and how much money did you make? What was your best day? My best day was uh, three hundred and eleven dollars and fifty three cents. I used uh, mm -hmm. uh, I know gold cup, the two nice. cup, that's all the stuff. stuff. Uh -huh. Nice. Sheesh. Fifty one. Anybody else got a product they use? Um, I do. I use the harmonic scanner. We already showed everybody a harmonic scanner. So just imagine, just so you can have something to compare it to. Just so you have something to compare it to. Just imagine this chart, right? Y'all remember this, what the scanner looked like, right? See, now you can probably see how much valuable the scanner is. Because if you're just looking at this chart, you don't know where to enter. You don't know anything. And that's why some people that actually have trading experience partner with us for our product. Because now it can take their winning percentage higher. That's a big deal. When your winning percentage gets higher. That's when you don't no longer have a boss. Who would like to make what their boss make every two hours? Me. See, it's as simple as just learning for two months, maybe 18 months. Uh, has anybody been to college newsroom? Yeah. Yes. Well, even better question, did anybody graduate college newsroom? Yeah. All right, so it's, I'm going to tell you this. It's going to take less effort than that to get rich. Is <coughs> anybody all right with that? Yeah. It's going to take less effort than what you did in college. So in my trade, watch this. This is a question, right? I'm looking at my trade, Bitcoin, right? And I'm in a what? Right. I'm in a sale. But if I'm looking at the chart, what is the chart doing? That's right. See, when I see that that was a test. This is not Bitcoin. So what I'm looking at on my charts and actually my money is not the same thing. So you can literally mess up if you're looking at one thing, enter in that trade, and you ain't even looking at the right chart. So that's why it's very important you take your time and you read this thing like a book. How do you read a book? Right to left or bottom to the top? How do you read a book? Anybody? And that's how you're going to read this thing. This is important. So, you got anything else, bro? No, I was in really. I just want to see what questions you have, if any. Right, does anybody you know, have any questions for the main? We're going to bring it down for all the new people. And we like to give value in the beginning so it can show you the value of actually getting started. Because who doesn't know what's going on right now? <laughs> uh, just say me if that's you. It's the next thing you <laughs> Alright, so who's not going to say nothing no matter what happens? <laughs> Alright, that is that's just going to be quiet, right? So what if I told you all it takes for you to move your freedom date forward? If you wanted to move your freedom date forward, what if I told you all you had to do was communicate five words tonight? Who would communicate those five words? I would. I would. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so, so that's the first thing you want to write down. You got to stay engaged. Like your success is literally connected to your engagement. If you're not engaged, what's the opposite of successful? So just by asking your question, being engaged, actually wanting to know how the banks is making money off your money is important. If it's not important to you, then that's fine. But who wants to get paid like the bank? I do. So let's think about this. They control the money forever. So we should we should want to get paid like this. So how do you, you start the trade? How do you deal with the source with the trade and all that? Alright. Matter of fact, I'm gonna enter one just for giggles. Just for giggles. Alright? This is a live account. So first of all, does everybody have this app MetaTrader? Yes. Who wants who wants to make some money? I don't want to make some money. I do. Somehow some I was dragging. Alright. Who? Me? This app right here, you want to download this app. If I was you, I would take this time to download it. Right? Download this app. Who has this app already? Perfect. This app right here is key. It's called Telegram. You want this app because that's where we send signals. We don't send signals to your, to this phone right here. You see this? What is this right here? Messenger. That's your messenger. That's why I said if you want to be successful, you got to be engaged, which means you got to be plugged in. You got to be plugged in because this is where you got to be plugged into. Three times a day, you got to be able to look at this app right here. This is the most important app in the universe. Besides Facebook and Instagram, my bad. <laughs> but this WhatsApp is yeah. going to change your life. Now, three times a day, you just want to look at it. And it's as simple as clicking. Right? Now watch this. We go to the Trade Nation Six Figure Club. That's when you get started, you go in that group. Now, we've been doing this for 14 months. Within 14 months, we've helped 65 people make six figures. They're all in this group. So if you knew that people just like you got started, some people four months, five months, nine months from the time they got started made a hundred thousand plus dollars, who would ask them questions? I would. I would. Just curious. Right. So they're not going, now watch this, this is very important. They're not going to go right here and text you and say, hey you, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> All right, they're not, they're not going to do that. What you have to do is you have to do this every day. How many times a day? Three. You have to do three times a day. Open up your WhatsApp, you go right here. And you say, what's the pairs we looking at, team? I'm fired up. <laughs> Don't forget the I'm fired up part. <laughs> Don't come in there and sleep. This group is full of people all over the world. Let them know you're fired up. All right? And they will respond. If you don't say I'm fired up, they'll probably look at you. And they'll just not say anything to you. <laughs> All right, so, so make sure that they know you're fired up. All right, so how do you enter trade? And remember, ask the questions as if you believe. Oh, yeah. oh, as if you believe that you're not going to be working the whole 2019. Right? Right? Because write this down. You can always tell the quality of a leader by the quality of their questions. This is important, right? So your question was, how do I even enter a trade? So first I gotta find where's the app, right? <laughs> so that's the app, so I found it. Let's tap the app, <laughs> boom, right? Now you said, how do I enter a trade? Well, first let me figure out what I wanna trade. So I wanna hit quotes. Everybody with me? Figure out what I wanna trade. All right, well, I don't know. I don't know what I want to trade. So let me first let me first see if anybody text yet. Oh, look what I got! <laughs> look what I got! Look what I got! Wow! Somebody take a picture of this, and if you're if you're like me, you're gonna do what? Get in yeah. on it! Wow! Do you see how fast that was? 
842. This is real life. For people who don't know what they're looking at, this is the same thing I just showed you. You have to use 10% of your brain. You have to be willing to what? Copy this. So someone take a picture of this because I'm going to enter this in my phone. I'm not going to do any research. I'm going to trust this guy because this is one of the guys who walked off their job. This is a guy who has been traveling the last... Who's, who's been following Gio's Facebook? I don't even know where he's at right now. Where's San Diego. Right now? San Diego. Yeah, right, this guy is not in there. Atlanta. I can't even remember the last time he's been in Atlanta. But he lives here. Right. So long story short, once you learn how to trade, you do whatever you want. Does that make sense? All right, who got, who got the numbers? Enter at 1.325. All right, so let's do it. Hold up. Here we go. We're about to enter the trade. Who's excited? Can I get a drum roll? Woo! Write this down. Do not trade if you're in a bad mood. Okay, because the, the, the universe will feel that. So if you're sad, you just got off work, your wife, your husband pissed you off, don't try to look at the charts because you're going to bring that mood to the charts. You're going to be like, man, these charts are pissing me off. <laughs> no, in all reality, it was your job. You was already mad. Right. Does that make sense? Yep. All right, so let's enter the trade. First, what's the pair? What'd they say? USDCAD. Uh, USDCAD? Is that it? Yes. Oh, snap! Trade! Y'all saw that, right? Who's with me? This is important. This is, the, this is how you pay your bills. All right. So we, we find out that we're in the right pair. Y'all with me top to the bottom? Yes. Market execution means we just get in right now. But did they have a price? Yes. What was their price? All right, so it says buy limit. Y'all see this right here? Buy limit. If you don't know what that means, write that down. Go to the IML Academy. Look at that video. This is how you learn how to trade with our products. You see something, you don't know it, write it down. If you're lazy like me, ask the group. If you actually want to know, open up the Academy. Does this make sense? Boom. So we're going to do a what? Buy limit. Buy limit. Buy limit. Who sees buy limit and say yes? Yes. Boom. Now we're going to look at our lot size. Because my bank account is small and I'm losing a trade already, <laughs> that's when you got to know about margin. Because your margin is going to let you know, oh, you're losing over here. So even though your bank balance says 350 you really only have this. This is your margin. Is this making sense? So I'm going to go ahead and be nice, and I'm going to lower my lot size. Who sees the number going down? Yeah. So all you have to do is move the decimal one to the right. If you don't know this, where do you go to find out? IML Academy. IML Academy, you go to lot size. They're going to show you what I'm telling you, which is the same thing as move it to the right. If I move this decimal to the right, how much money am I investing now? 50 cents. 50 cents a pill. Can I afford 50 cents a pill? Yes. No. no. Who says yes? Yes. All right, who says no? And who's not just going to say anything? <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are you at? All right. All right, so we're doing 50 cents. Akil, what would you do? I'm going to go down some more. No, down. Down, ten cents. Right, yeah, right there. All right, yeah, right there. I'm gonna go ten, ten cents. What was the price again? Uh, one point three two five. That's it. Mm -hmm. What was the stop loss? One point three two. Oh, one point three two zero one. One point three two zero one. All right, what's my take profit? One point three four five three. All right, who wants to do the honors of hit place? Uh, so, congratulations, sir, you're answering your first trade. Boom, what does it say? Successful, and then on my order sheet, it put it right here. Y'all with me? Notice, notice, notice I haven't entered yet. Because it hasn't hit there yet. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. Who's scared now that they see mine is 100? <laughs> <laughs> Who's hurt this way? Oh, my goodness. All right. You gotta hold it down. So that so we just entered the trade.
degrees. And it says my margin level is what? What is what is my equity level? Equity is real. Equity means I started with the, the 347, but that's what I really have now. And if you need any help on what this See the description of this video for links to Trade Nation University and Trade Nation Global, where you can learn how to become a skilled Forex trader, successfully earning profits and creating generational wealth. Don't forget to share and like this video. Also remember to subscribe to the channel to get notifications on my new videos. Peace, love, and prosperity, family.